Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Apple just released tvOS 9.2, so we're going to take a look at today and all the new features. And the first one up on the list is the ability to now search for apps using Siri. So you can press down that Siri button on your remote, ask, can you search for the Kara Weather application? And it'll pull up that little sheet on the bottom showing you what you searched for. The same as if you were searching for any movie or TV show. If you phrase it differently, you can even get it to open directly in the App Store application and bring you right to that app. So in this case, Carry Weather. Speaking of the voice control feature, next up is Dictation, which has finally arrived on the Apple TV. Whenever you see those different you know, text entry boxes, you can either enter a full sentence or words like this one here. So I can say YouTube and it'll enter that and I can search for it. And other ones, it'll maybe tell you to go letter by letter, like for a password or even an email address, such as when I'm entering my Apple ID, I can literally say A-N-D-R-E-W at ID, etc. And it'll even tell you underneath that it's looking for letters, numbers, and symbols compared to those full words and sentences on the other search entry. So essentially, just be cognizant of what you are filling in and whether or not it's full sentences or letter by letter. Next up is going to be folders. So basically you just move the app icons around by holding down on your Siri remote and it'll make that application wiggle. You simply hold it over another application and it'll just fall right into a folder. These essentially look and work the same they do on your iPhone or iPad. TVOS does it best to guess what the title of that folder should be. However, you can go in there and change it even using dictation if you'd like to. So continuing our list of all the new features on tvOS is going to be enhancements to iCloud Photos. You can now add your entire iCloud Photo library here. Previously, you could only add the iCloud Photo sharing. Now you have the entire library, which means any photo you take, as long as it's on that Photos application on your Mac, iPhone, iPad, it will even show up now on your Apple TV for screensavers or just looking at them. So if we actually go into any of our photos, we can now actually use live photos. You can swipe up to see some information or hold down on the remote and see them come to life. We also have a new app switcher. So if you double click on the home button, you'll bring up the new app switcher, which basically looks like it does on iPhone and iPad. The next new feature I want to look at is something that was actually on the last generation Apple TV. And it's going to be in the settings inside of AirPlay, which is the conference room display. This is mostly going to be useful for businesses and conference rooms, but essentially it allows you to display connection information on your Apple TV whenever it is at its screensaver. You can even add a custom message like connect to our network to AirPlay on the Apple TV. And you can even choose a background photo, which could be something like a logo, so you can create your own kind of businesses background, or you can simply choose something from your photos or from the shot on the iPhone 6 photos. And once you've chosen that, you can hit preview to see what it's going to look like. But basically, it will display your background image and this little text that kind of gives you some information about how to actually connect to your Apple TV. The last few are a couple more minor things, and they're going to be in the apps settings area. We're going to look at iTunes, movies, and TV shows. We can now change how we sort everything in our wish list. So our movies in our wish list can now be sorted alphabetically. And you can also sort TV shows in your favorites by alphabetically as well as by date. And also under computers, you have the option to have your media repeat. Last but not least, you have the ability now to add a Bluetooth keyboard to navigate and control the system, which is something that everyone has been clamoring for. Please let us know in the comments what you thought of this video. Please subscribe so you can see more like it. And also check out all the other videos on the new OS releases that Apple released today. And until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.